Okay, we are doing lesson 104, which is Ezra 7 through 10. About 60 years after the temple was rebuilt at Jerusalem, architects, the king of Persia appointed Ezra to lead another group of Jews to Judah and provided him with money and supplies to beautify the temple. Ezra fasted and prayed that God would protect them as they traveled to Jerusalem. Ezra sorrowed when he learned that some of the Jews in Jerusalem had married out of the covenant. He counseled the people to repent and they made a covenant to put away their sins. Go ahead and take Necessary steps to repentance, the most critically important is for you to have a conviction that forgiveness comes in and through Jesus Christ. It is essential to know that only on his terms you can be forgiven. You will be helped as you exercise faith in Christ. Richard G. Scott. Do you find it? Okay, I got it. So for our doctrine of principle, we wrote down repent for your sins. And then for develop your understanding of the principle, we decided to ask, why is it necessary to repent for our sins? No? Okay. Uh, it's necessary to repent for our sins because it will make our lives better and it will give, get us forgiveness from our Heavenly Father. So for seek to feel the truth and importance of the principle, uh, one example of someone who can testify this is Ezra 9 through 10. Ezra mourns over the Jews' sins and tells them to repent because he wants them to go to heaven just like him. And for apply the principle, we should all repent for our sins and ask for forgiveness so that we may go up to our Heavenly Father. I say this to you in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.